Okay, welcome back to the second episode of Breaking 80. So we're going to do pit shots today. How would you rate this part of your game? Well, if you see this beautiful little mark that I left here uh, so that everybody around me knows how trash my short <laughs> game is, uh, it's, it's inconsistent. So we've got 65 yards into the breeze slightly. Beautiful lie, so we can't blame the lie or anything like that. We've got full swing in play. We're going to look at a couple of numbers which I know are going to be important. Let's have a couple of shots and let's just see Let's just see, I want to see you knock it close. So from here, I'm going to talk you through some of my, the doubts that I have when I step up to the <laughs> Okay, <deck>. that's <laughs> so always a good sign. Let's start with that. I go, okay, right here, I'm like, I don't know if I should take a full swing or a half swing. Yep. So then if I do that to myself, then I'll step up to the ball and I tend to throw my hands at the ball because I'm trying to rescue the distance. And so yep. I've already cheated and I've hit a few here. So I, I know that I need to take it back a little further. So let's okay. see if I can... Okay, that's about a distance, yeah? Yeah. We can see it's gonna pitch. I just... Just left? A little left, yeah. You know, I love that Andy has confidence for everybody because I, I don't I don't have the confidence yet. I haven't gotten to that point in my game where I'm like, yeah, I got this. Today's the day. Today's the day. Okay, beautiful, that's gonna be close. Watch where this lands. Excellent. Okay, not okay. mad at that. Let's have a look at the number, 60 yards. Nice, good strike, good interaction with the turf. Okay, so I want you to look at the top right-hand number. What does that say? Negative 5.5. Negative 5.5, do you know what that means? No, teach Okay, me. so that is, your, that is your club path. Now okay. I'm gonna show you here, I'm gonna show you golf swing. So let's have a look at this. So setup looks really nice. Backswing, looking really good on playing, good club face. There's your backswing here, looks really nice. Let's see what happens on the way down now. Oh, that's really over the top. What do we notice? Yeah, so it swings forwards, steep, club gets over the top there, and then across. And that's where we get that. That's where we get the interaction because we're a little steep. So yeah. we get that. And sometimes if we catch that little ground first, we are screwed. Yeah? Mm -hmm. So the goal for you today is to be able to get you to get it more on plane. Let's just swap places with your second action. Okay. If you just stand just here and make sense of this for the viewers as well. So now, you, so I'd maybe just a little wider stance. You're doing a great backswing. You've got a good turn now. But if you go from the top and all you do is turn or spin, that club now is going to go in front, down and across. And that's why it's going left. 5.5. Yeah. So what we're going to do today, backswing is going to be the same, but we're going to feel as if we have a little bit of a, a nudge towards the target and get the club working now a little bit more from the from the inside okay. as opposed to a spin yeah. and then across over if we do that a couple of things are going to happen we're going to see the path get a little bit more close to to zero and we're also going to see that we're going to get ball followed by the turf as opposed to turf followed by the ball okay which is not what we want no. okay so swing to the top good so now what we're going to feel is we're going to feel almost the, the move this way and the arm sort of almost falling down in here and then we can start to turn through. One thing that we know for you, you have no problem. You are amazing at turning. Yeah. All we need to do is put a little bit of... Transferring. A little bit of transferring. <laughs> We've only been working on this for two years, but now is the time to really get to this place. So let's have a couple of swings, full motion. And I want you to just feel what it's like here for me. So this is good. Give it room, drop there you go. it. And then through. Then through. Okay, just not that hard. But. Yeah, that's fine. That was good though. I'm I would be PGA, LPGA if the ball never existed in the game of golf. I missed that, but I was laughing. I don't know what she said and I was laughing. I was laughing at what she said. I don't even know. I'm, i actually went to the store today for you, specifically for you, to get you some athlete's foot spray. Amazing. Yeah. Are we gonna spray that on spray the feet? But no, what we're gonna do is I wanna spray, we're gonna spray a line on the ground okay. and, and see where your low point is. But before we even do that, I just wanna see what you can do with just that little bit of okay. the things that we've mentioned there. Okay. Okay, so let's let's hit a shot. I mean the weight went. The weight it went. went. <laughs> it went, went, it went forward. Let's have a little look. Okay, look at the number. Ah. What does it say? Right. Well, yeah, 0 0.4 right. 0 0.4 right. So straight away, we've got a combination now of you moving this way, which I love, by the yeah. way. Yeah. Because normally... 
I you know, come under it, yeah. And we changed the path. Okay. And that was for me just, and showing you just, let's show you a little bit of this and then, this is how good you are now, I'm Carol. I'm comfortable. This is how good you are. Now. Okay. I have to like make it thoughtless, but think about it all at the same yeah. time. So that I don't tense up. And then I hit like a little T-Rex. Yeah, that's... <laughs> So shifting the weight is what's going to get your ground interaction, sorry, your low point past the ball, avoiding the fat shots. Okay, so two objectives, get the club from the inside, strike past the line. Okay. Okay, nice. A little clean, wasn't little it? Yeah? Clean. A little clean, yeah. So I've got that down there, just so we can get it working more. So your path now on the way down is going to go all this way. Okay. Okay, shoulders are good. Okay, that was good. That was good. Little ground first, but yeah. really, I could see the intention in the golf swing on that one. Okay, 2.8. Not far off. It's a little okay. clean, but... That's good. That's, that's, I, I actually don't mind that on these sort of shots. That was like, a, you just collected that off there. 5.7. If I didn't have this full swing, I, I would have no idea. No, well, exactly. This is this. It's, I'd be like, oh, this feels it's okay. Back straight away. Okay, it's probably, probably, probably one of the best shots you've hit there so far. And it's still still a little left. Take your setup there. I want to give you an exaggeration on the feeling. If you if you set up to the ball there, so to the side, to the side, sorry, to the side of the ball. Okay. So your downswing now, so your backswing, good. Downswing now is going to feel more in here and it's almost as if you're swinging the club out now to the right. Ah. Feel that's different. See how the, this is different because yours is normally that way, across yeah. here, yeah? Does that make sense? Yes. It might be a different way for you to feel it that the club is swinging what feels more out to the right as yeah. opposed to across. That actually, I like that. Okay, good. I, it was, and the intention just a, was just there. a little, a little face open on that one. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. <laughs> Same move. Okay, love the shot that was again. Come on, it's got to be right. It's got to be right. Look at that. Yes. So that shot there was like it was so good. Your alignment was good. You swung on plane, you had a little bit of a shift of everything yeah. there. But that's took us a while to get to just because we're exploring, well, where's the club? What's the feeling in the hips? Yeah. Do I need to put it here with the arms? Hang on a minute. Like, so there's a few things that we have to just discover and find out what's going to work for you. Yeah. Let's head to the range now and show you and you guys exactly how you can practice this when you're on your own. <sighs> I'm hot. It's hot. <laughs> it is hot. It is hot. Okay, we're at the range. This is how you can set something up when you're on the turf, or if you've got a basket, you can sort of throw one of these alignment sticks in. So we've got one on the ground here, just opposite the ball. And then we've got this one at the same angle as the, the shaft of the club. So if you take your setup for us, I've sort of dropped this in roughly at the same angle as the, uh, as the shaft. This is crucial when we do this now, is when you do a backswing, the club will just be in line with the sort of hosel like this. So the idea of this is your backswing normally You'll swing on play and you'll miss this no problem. All I want you to do now is make sure that it misses it considerably, feels that way on the way down. Normally you'd go, you'd be here on the way back, then you'd be here on the way down. Okay. Okay. So let's have a couple of swings where you just have this feeling now. <laughs> Did you see me get distracted? Like a oh. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> and you said on the last shot that you hit off camera early, you were like, I've got it. Yeah. I, I've just felt, just to say what you said, what did you say you felt? I, I like relaxed this so that like the club was able to almost like, this was able to come down. It was okay. able to point down as before when I was like stiff, I almost, it was like yes. coming over the top. So it was like, there was nowhere for it to come down to. So it was that patience from the yeah. top. It was like, let me just give myself some time where I can feel it move down and it just looks so much softer. Right. So let's, let's have that same thing, same thing. We'll get a couple of shots here, maybe two or three. Just the only purpose is to miss this. So let's get yourself squared up. Keep everything moving together. Look at that. It's pretty good. That was absolutely ripped. 
really nice. You just needed a break. But that was class. That was exactly what we wanted. You yeah. shifted the weight. You missed this by a mile. Number on here, look, 1.4 to the right. Love it. We're Perfect. staying to the right. Keep the flow again, exactly the same. Be patient. Beautiful. Notice where the weight wanted to go. Forward. It wanted to go forward. Two divots in a row past the golf ball. Those are called patient divots. Patient divots, they are, <laughs> they are. So this is, so if you, if you go on the turf, this is so easy to do. Drop that obviously down level with a golf ball mm -hmm. or just drop this in a basket, a range basket. The bottom of this should be in front of the golf ball, it has to be this side of the ball. Okay. Because then you've just got to swing underneath, underneath this, but it's great visual and great feedback to go. I'm just missing it on the way back and I'm missing it on the way down. Good. Okay, you're finishing all on that left side. Yeah. Ooh. Look at this. Nice. You just needed a little bit of time out to, you've all, you just download all that information yeah, that you've just done, download it, it, and it's yeah. now in your system. Yeah, that's a massive difference. Okay, it's gonna take a bit of time. Look at the difference on screen though for you guys. You'll see at the start of the session, stance was very narrow. There was no movement with the lower body at all. We were just sort of turning and that club was going in front of the plane down crashing into the ground now we've got a little bit more wider stance which helps us shift the weight on the way down so we're leading with the lower body and that club now swings down pretty close to that plane line yeah we've got a bit of practice to do on that yes it's not it's not going to be instant but you've hit some much better shots and i know that's going to make a huge difference over time seeing this makes me happy so from 5.5 out of 10 next time i see you i want it to be at least a 6.5 just a 6.5 I mean, right now, I, I feel a 6.5 okay, the 6 way I'm hitting. Okay, it's 6.5. It's there. We're just going to keep it there and then Yes, and then keep working it. on it. But I'm definitely going to take this and go to the range. Okay. Make sure I have this so I can get that path memorized. Good. I, I love the move. I love the move. Okay, guys, hope you enjoyed that. Make sure you stay tuned for the next session. We're probably going to go on the golf course. And also, check out Carol's channel. We'll put the links down in the description. Instagram, YouTube channel, Tequila at the Turn. You're a busy woman. But very. Very busy. Well, you need to, you need to take a break now. <laughs> Thanks, guys. We'll see you again soon.